interesting interesting everything is getting hot hot and buari is looking buari is looking and watching government believed to be terrorists on wednesday morning broke into one of the parishes in castina state presided over by the bishop of the diocese of the catholic diocese of sokoto matthew hassan kuka the armed hoodlums kidnapped two priests and two others in the rectory of saint patrick's catholic church gidan makambu in the kufa local government area of castina state according to punch meanwhile kuka's sukutu diocese covers castina zamfara sukutu and kebi state the director of social communications of the catholic diocese of sukutu reverend father christopher omotosho confirmed the development on wednesday morning he said the catholic diocese of sukutu is under attack and no information has been got as gotten as to the whereabouts of the abductees omotosho said as at midnight of today 25th may 2022 government broke into the rectory of saint patrick's catholic church gida mikambo kufo local government area of castina state the parish priest and his assistant reverend father stephen ojakwa msp and oliver okwara and two boys in the house were kidnapped no information as to their whereabouts kindly pray for their safety and release on may 14th rampaging hoodlums touched and vandalized some parishes presided by presided over by kuka in sokoto following his condemnation of the gruesome murder of deborah yakubu by her muslim colleagues the 200 level home economy student of shewishagari college of education education in sokoto was accused of blasphemy against prophet muhammad the ratiles also burnt some parts of kuka's church building and set a bus ablaze in one of the premises the sokoto religious tainted riots has extended to some parts of bauchi and abuja in the last few days why security agents and some northern governors have warned against religious violence we are just warning against religious violence somebody was telling me when this issue of a when the incident happened in Sokoto that <clears throat> that we should not be surprised that this thing can escalate to other parts of the northern states one of the northern states that it can escalate and that is exactly what is happening immediately i saw this i said yes oh this person told me that before you could say jacob is in everything you know it started moving you know we we saw what happened in in bauchi and one other state now is castina so what prompted this what brought about this everything is lingering just like i said from the beginning everything is getting hot 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 buari is watching buari is looking he will be telling you i assure you i assure you that's what he's going to be i assure you he will come and say the normal thing he used to say that they are working towards getting the perpetrators to bring them to book that is the only thing you hear and he will assure you well they teach us to sit down and pray fervently and god will work out everything for us why they are heavily um armored with sophisticated weapons and ballistic missiles wake up african christians these are not terrorists rather a organized religious bigotries we have to be tolerant of one another if not nigeria will not survive they are our brothers and we soon repent and join forces with us everything is under control and going as planned god bless our country one nigeria prayer with action enough of calling for prayer alone otherwise christian may go extinction in nigeria ongoing religious cold war spearheaded by our beloved incompetent nepotic and ethno ethno religious bigotry president whose failure in every facet of life and governance is quite monumental and phenomenal and Buhari who promised to lead the war from the front ran to the back using the people he is meant to protect to form human shield against the terrorists he who has no sword let him set his cloak and buy one according to luke 22 verse 36 the time is now that the word of god be fulfilled but nigeria judeo christians will still be praying for nigeria in distress actions is needed now or christianity dies here those 
that gave us Bible are being protected with guns and other sophisticated armories. It is better they legalize gun in this country. Make everyone the carrier. It will help the security situation. Sadly, event again. This is why sanity in its entire form is required urgently. Clerics or imams properties and families shouldn't be tempted or tampered for for whatever situation and reason here we are these people are the most targeted every day someone mentioned division i hope if the division can bring this to the very end then i pray so i wonder what Kuka will say this time around since he said that the Buras killing is not a religious issue we can't even wake up in peace in this country again these things may not happen to us but the trauma is damaging to our mental health which is very very true which is very very true those who have affected maybe those ones if they are lucky fine if they are not lucky maybe they are gone but those who are going to be hearing it you are hearing for far your heart will just be jumping will be jumping will be jumping they are the most affected the people who are even hearing or people are around even if you think you are very far away you just be wondering where or to what end will all this get some selfish and greedy politicians are busy buying forms and campaigning for 2023 elections which may never hold i doubt if there will be nigeria by 2023 everybody should be campaigning for referendum not election and is this lulugat product now to save lives the terrorists kidnapped two priests but we hear the key 30 villagers and in the southeast the Awusa community leader said the government not terrorists are killing them on daily basis but sahara reporters are missing out on all that i wonder god bless namdekanu i love you so much law of karma never clap hands for the person of uh, people, people bad situation it will come back to you unprecedented <laughs> well not related to the to what you are saying but your law is not related at all like you clapped in deborah's case right what do you mean they were christian priests Priest kidnapped in Castina. Any man that is bold enough to kick against your barbaric act is a terrorist. So you continue. The not is now uh, a battleground. What are we going to be doing? The, the president is what? The president is sleeping, snoring, even snoring. Does President Wari look like somebody who is bothered with all these things happening? Do you think he's bothered? I don't know. I don't So he's not bothered. He's not worried. He's just relaxed. He's relaxed. He will just come and read the usual templates for you people to hear. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.